Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tellus. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today we're going to take a look at how to color um, or tint uh, translucent PLA, clear PLA, and clear white LEDs. Why am I doing this? Well, it gets, for one thing, uh, finding every color you might need in translucent PLA is extremely difficult. Um, for whatever reason, be it supply chain issues or just lack of demand, most of the PLA makers, or the ones that I use at least, it's extremely difficult to find some of these colors I need. So I began, and, and it's just expensive. You know, you're buying a roll of PLA for you know, 24, 25 bucks just to get a meter's worth of it of a specific color that you're gonna use for one model. Um, that gets really cost prohibitive and I don't know about you, I'm really cheap, so I'm looking for other options on this. So I decided I would start playing around with clear PLA, which is actually PLA's natural state. When you have, say, gray or opaque blue PLA, that's not natural PLA. That's PLA that's had additives put into it uh, to make it opaque and to give it a hue. And so clear PLA is actually going to be the most the easiest of all the translucent PLAs to get simply because it's this natural PLA and most manufacturers do put one out because it's so cheap uh, for them to do. They don't have to put any additives into it. So what I've done here is I've started experimenting with utilizing inks uh, to tint uh, both the clear PLA and the LEDs and see what kind of effects we can get. So um, I started, I've tested a number of clear PLAs and the Sunlu uh, worked really good for me. Um, Hatchbox, when you can get it, is wonderful, but I have not been able to get a roll of that in quite some time. I tested some others, and of all of them, the Sunlu worked pretty well. Um, beyond that, I've tested different paints and dyes uh, doing this. Uh, some don't like to adhere to the PLA because remember you can't prime this so you've got to find something that will uh, stick readily to the PLA and the best one I've come up with so far is uh, Dr. Martin's India ink. Uh, you can get this stuff online it's on Amazon I'll put a link in the description it comes in pretty much any color you need and you can mix colors which is nice. The great thing about the India ink is if you have a model that has partial what you're going to want clear and something that you're going to want painted. Paint the whole thing in the India ink. The India ink acts as a primer. So you can put acrylic paint on top of this and it really sticks very well. So when I'm doing this, um, I'm going to do this. This is a, a prototype model for a uh, scrying pool in our upcoming Kickstarter. Um, I've also been toying around with print uh, slicer settings for trying to get the translucent PLA as clear as possible. And I'm having some pretty good luck with this. Um, I don't know if you can see this piece. You can see through this pretty well. And uh, I'll probably do a video showing some experiments. I've had some different settings uh, in the near future on this. Uh, but it's surprisingly clear uh, if you can get the settings right. So what I'm doing here, for something small like this, what I do is I just tape it down to a note card here just to give me something to hold on to because the India ink, it will get on your fingers and it does, uh, it's a little hard to get off. Um, it comes in a whole range of colors. I bought uh, oranges and yellows for doing torches and fires. And then for the scrying pool, I'm going to use the blue and just shake it up pretty well. Put a couple of drops on your model and you're just going to want to brush this in and evenly distribute it. Now, um, this cleans up with uh, soap and water real easy, so don't worry, it's not going to ruin your brushes or anything like that. Uh, if you airbrush it, which I have been doing on models, uh, just Windex takes it out. So it's, it's nothing that's going to give you any hassle to do. So here it is dry, and I've gone ahead and I've also painted the LED light, which started out as a white LED. Um, I painted that with the blue as well. But here's the finish uh, water piece. Here's the LED that's painted blue, and it really does um, help to tint that light. Um, so if you can't find the blue LED in this case, you could just get a white one and use the India ink to tint it. 
and this is the scrying pool one of the models from our upcoming kickstarter um we got a lot of led models in this thing so that's one of the reasons i was experimenting with different ways to do this and save some money but as you can see here if you tint the led and the clear pla piece uh, the effect is really quite good and in my opinion every bit as good as using blue translucent pla and a blue led now um this one is a uh, part of a fire brazier that uh, I did. I had airbrushed uh, the orange Dr. Martens on. Uh, and this is just, um, this is actually with a yellow LED. I had to cake the yellow ink on the uh, white LED so heavy it didn't give quite as good of an effect. But this is just with a yellow LED and the uh, white or clear um, PLA and it's just tinted with the uh, orange Dr. Martens. So as you can see here, um, this really has a lot of potential for one, saving you money, because you can just buy clear PLA, and two, giving you a wider range of color options because you can mix and match these India ink colors and come up with a lot of hues that aren't, aren't even sold in translucent PLA. So um, if, you all are interested in this let me know in the comments i can do further testing and do more on my settings with um oh uh the, the clear pla to try to get it as clear as possible for like windows and stuff so if you would please click that like and subscribe button thank you for watching